Okay, hello, Paul here from EMD Automotive. Can we pass it with this Porsche KN E2 Mark 1 uh, diesel? So I'm, re I'm replacing the door lock. Here's the door trim there. And the door lock, so I'm going to show you the switch. <coughs> this is the actual um, the rear door. Left hand side rear. Sorry, right hand side rear, sorry. This is the switch. The switch works when you push it down. You hear that? But when you bring it up, it doesn't work. Alright? Nothing is locked. That's off. It only works when you actually uh, go down. But nothing else works. So that's how there is working. So that's how it's working. And then the driver's door. It's all over the place, it's not working properly the switches, so I've got a new switch anyway to actually put it on here before I do anything else, so I just want to show you today. So I'm going to remove all this uh, door frame off here, uh, the cover, so I can actually have a look at the lock and replace the lock inside here. So everything is going to come off for this door to be done properly, alright? And then I'm going to put a new switch in there first before I do anything else, because most of these switches on the KN uh, they're too soft, if you ask me. Very soft. Uh, it's like marshmallow. <laughs> they're just like, if you, if you actually flick them hard enough, they'll just break off. So I appreciate the old switches of the old KN. But uh, <clears throat> that's just how it is. The design's a bit too soft to me. So it's really easy to actually pull it up, the lever on the switch, and break it. Okay, I'll show you later on how to take the door trim off. It's very easy. They're not very hard on the Porsche KN. It's only four screws. There's one here, one there, one there, and one there. There's four screws and one T T25 underneath here. All right. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.